Hi everybody and welcome, I'm Coach Carolyn here, Left Better Certified Instructor and former professional tour player and today I want to talk to you guys about the correct chest rotation, pelvis rotation, body rotation really on the way back in the backswing and why it matters to make sure you get your club consistently and solidly back towards the ball over and over and over again. So let's jump into it. So body rotation is a really really important piece of the golf swing because it drives your entire golf swing. Really, your arms don't drive it, they're attached to your body, your core, your chest and your rotation setup drives the golf swing and drives the forces. So that is why it's fundamentally key to understand what they do and what the position should look like uh, and what they do and how that translates into your impact and into your ball flight. So today we're going to focus on the backswing, on the rotation back, because that's actually going to have a huge impact on our rotation forward and to our contact. So. I want to start with some numbers and I'm sure you guys have all heard about the 90 degree shoulder turn on the way back at the top position and that's correct that's the textbook number but really there's a range of course if you look at the LPJ tour it tends to be a little bit higher like 100 degrees um, versus 90 because women tend to be a little bit more flexible but then on the PGA tour men are more muscular on the top it makes them a little bit tighter on the shoulders and then it's a little bit harder to turn as much so they tend to stay around that 90 degree number and that's great i just want to point out that there is ranges it also depends on you know your restrictions your back if you have a bad back if you have bad shoulders there really is there's different correct numbers for that for every player but i just wanted to reference that 90 degree number as a textbook number so to say so let's put that into the golf swing and show you what that really means right so here um, I have my my setup and now I'm going to go to the top of the backswing and I'm going to rotate my shoulders about 90 degrees like this and I want you to pay attention to my pelvis turn and how it is in relation to my shoulder turn so my shoulder turn is 90 degrees my pelvis turn should be about 45 degrees and my knee turn should be half of my pelvis turn so I can't do that math right now but half of 45 <laughs> girl math golf math whatever that is you catch my drift so shoulders at 90 pelvis at 45 knees at half of the pelvis and this is a really important ratio for you to be aware of so as you're working your way down from the top shoulders pelvis knees always have the degrees number to get to the correct rotation ratio and again if you only take your club back 80 degrees with your shoulders make sure that your pelvis isn't over rotated at 45 or 50 because that's not half and same for your knees you don't want to not have a shoulder turn but have your knees turned right like this would be like you know 70 degree shoulder turn 80 degrees but your knees are turned a lot so make sure you focus on this and I realize you may think oh I need a K vest and I need sensors to understand this but I think it's still pretty easy to see from a down the line angle or from a you know front facing angle to make sure that you can understand the ballpark that you're in so again let's go to our setup 90 degrees shoulder turn 45 degrees in my pelvis half of that in my knees and what that does, it really gives me a lot of space here. It gives me a lot of space to drop the golf club down and to explode through. The problem I see a lot with amateurs is to actually not rotate their shoulders back, not complete their backswing well in that co-rotation. And it kind of looks something like this, where it mostly is arms. And the problem is people do love to rotate and they know they should rotate in, your, in their golf swing, but they love to rotate towards the target because this is where they want the ball to go. And that is very natural. But in order to efficiently rotate this way, we got to efficiently rotate that way first, away from the target. And people usually are in a massive rush to get to the target. So they're like, oh, well, you know, flags over there. They're like, Whoa, let's get over here. So first, let's actually focus on the backswing and completing your backswing. I'm a former professional player, so I love thoughts that I can take on the golf course with me. I was never paid to have a pretty golf swing on the range. I was paid on how I scored. I was paid on thoughts and on things that I could implement in my game and in my scoring, not on the range. So this is a great thought because it's non-technical. Literally just think finishing your backswing. Finishing your backswing is all you need to do. So let's hit a ball here. I'm going to set up and I'm going to think finishing my backswing, which is really going to allow me to turn through really well. Oh, that was so solid. So really feeling like you're finishing that backswing allows you to not rush through your transition either. So rushing through your transition, the transition I'm referring to is the transition from the top of the backswing to the downswing. A lot of the time, if you're a handsy player, an armsy swinger, then you're rushing it. So it looks something like this. And there's a very fast motion in that reroute that we don't want to see. If you're thinking, finish your backswing, it looks smooth. It doesn't look rushed. 
it almost feels like you're pausing at the top of the backswing without it looking like you're pausing. But that's also another good feel for you to feel like pause on the top of the backswing, finish your backswing. Those two are very non-technical feels. I love to take out on the golf course and I hope this makes a little bit of sense for you guys. I feel like this drill is applicable to a lot of players. Almost every single one would benefit from this no matter what you do in your golf swing. It's a very universally great tip. So I wanted to bring it to you guys. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment below. I'd like to know what you want to see next and I always love to hear from my followers. So thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you next time.